Hi everyone. I'm calling it a night. So I want people, to, uh, I want to clarify some things about, some recent things about the arraignment with Donald Trump um, from the perspective of the feds, as it looks to me. Um, he was told he can't leave the country. I don't believe he can leave the country. Saying he's not a flight risk means that there's no reason to hold, to, to hold him. It doesn't mean he can fly off and go wherever he likes. He is not free to leave, as I understand basically what I picked up from the feds. The other thing that I picked up from the feds is a close that the that Eric Trump basically had to this is a private deal. This is not all public information, but he basically had to sign documents that were similar to a bond basically. This reminds me of something that I've seen in Israel, it, which is basically that you sign a private bond for, say, $10 million, that you will vouch for the person, that they will show up in court, or, <coughs> excuse me, or you are going to be stuck going to jail or paying the fee. And it looks like the person who signed those documents the person that has to be watching Grandpa 24-7, which is what I had picked up prior, is Eric Trump. Now, if you're trained in heart-centered remote viewing, you look at cords, emotional connections. We have these all the time. We create artificial cords between ourselves and the subject or target, and then based on those connections, we deliver our impressions. So that is basically how we were able to pick up on the relationship between Trump, Eric, Eric, uh, Eric Trump, Trump, <coughs> excuse me, and the feds. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a great night. Bye-bye. And don't forget to subscribe.